Good evening everybody, welcome to the Heritage 2. This is preliminary stages, was it with round of 16 Eric? No, yeah, okay. this is still the very first round of the competition and you join me Eric, I'm joined by... Yand. Yep, I was about to do a really nice big intro for you there, but you ruined it. That's fine, don't worry. Okay, I had been on. working on it. No, yeah. no, no, you've ruined it now. We'll have to wait for the next game. Um, uh, so we are here. Beautiful. This is Birmingham University versus Greenwich University. We, You join us into the draft, and um, one notable ban, which is the the Pugna. Other than that, we've seen fairly standard Invoker, Outward Devourer, obviously big picks right now. The Bane and the Pugna, slightly more unusual. I suppose the Bane could be explained by the fact that they were keen to pick up Earth Spirit, maybe. But the, and maybe the Pugna's explained why they really love Zeus, but still a little a little unusual for sure. Maybe we're going to see like a Skyrath or something. I mean, everyone knows Skyrath hates Pugna. Yep, and, and Zeus does too, I guess. But um, who, we'll see, we'll see. I'm excited to see some Earth action though. Obviously that hero is just uh, absolutely horrible, but it can be quite entertaining to watch, so it could be worth it. And there's a lion, which is another yeah. another big intelligence nuker. Maybe maybe Greenwich just really love uh, the hard hitting intelligence heroes, and that's their play here. Well, yeah. Um, I mean, so far there's a lot of nuke coming out from um, Gren Greenwich. Greenwich. Greenwich, correct. Greenwich. Yeah. Hmm. And lion also obviously. Oh, go on. Got, uh, have you mentioned the other team we're playing? Because they've, they've neglected to put down a little team name. I did. Did you not enjoy my intro? Where I was like, it's Birmingham versus Greenwich. Let's get hyped, boys. <laughs> I don't think I said boys, because we're very inclusive here. Boys and girls, of course. Gender fluid. Non-binary, etc. Gender Both fluid. Is that what you have to say? I don't even know anymore. I've lost well a lot. Uh, okay, so Lion also obviously very strong against Earth Spirit with that insta-hex. Very useful to counter a bit of roll action. Then we see the, the Jakiro as the pickup from Birmingham. Uh, so slightly unusual draft so far. There's a few big heroes which have been ignored, such as the Lone Droid. It's just been completely blanked. We aren't seeing any Batrider either, which is another fairly popular pick right now. And uh, Death Prophet's been ignored as well. Yep. Ten seconds to go. I so don't really know. I mean, like you say, they're just sort of doing what they want, really. That Screw them out. Yep, potentially just picking heroes they're very comfortable with. Maybe they really? think they're too cool for the meta. Maybe they are about to invent the meta right here, right now. Maybe they're trying to complete the quests. And that's just, you know... That's what they're going for here. I don't <laughs> think quests work in uh, Game Britannia no. games just yet. We're working on that right now. Um, I believe Amy's in a phone call with Vi Valve as we speak. So it's, it really is only a matter of time. Oh yeah, Bad indeed. Things. To let whoever do the production for Shanghai take over. So I mean, come on, boys, we've got to be if that's, strength. If that's what they aim for, then I mean, we can we can definitely manage no sound, <laughs> things breaking, games being delayed by hours. These are all things that we're perfectly capable of doing and we won't charge six staff. billion for them so yeah, we're gonna take some extra staff just so we can fire them at random it's gonna be brilliant <laughs> sure <laughs> we have to pay them twelve thousand a week though before we fire them apparently which which uh, uh, obviously we have got i don't know if anyone's been looking over the game britannia financial records but we are balling out of control very similar to earth spirit oh, see what i did there again <sighs> Beautiful. That's why they pay us the big box. So who's the lion that's currently sitting in between us and the b the big box? <laughs> oh god, <laughs> there we go. We're, up, we're on fire. Uh, who's who's sitting between us? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. No one really. We just need to reach out. Those, I guess it's probably those people who just sit in the channel and don't don't talk and don't subscribe. Well, no, don't people follow. who don't follow. We said this before, them. but well, I don't even know where to start with those kind I of think people. We should just. Not even talk about them anymore. Yeah, don't get me stressed out. No, indeed. What are we going to see next pick? What do they need? They need a carry, they need an offlane. I'd to like to see uh, something a little bit tankier, perhaps. So, uh, Dark Sis sort of counts. He can be pretty difficult to kill. Quite speedy. Also got the vacuum as a nice little uh, mm. make people fear him kind of uh, option. Both teams I wonder if we are going to see a lone droid pick. Birmingham definitely in a position where it's a good option. Jakiro is also a strong pusher. Yep, they've, they've uh, banned out the Witch Doctor, which means, um, you know, Witch Doctor is obviously really strong against uh, any of these Ten roaming... To go. What's he called now? Lone Droid. Witch Doctor is strong against Lone Droid, yep, mm, because the yeah. bloody cask bounces between the two of you and you weep uncontrollably. Um, so yeah, like four days. maybe this is the Lone Droid pit, but obviously you do very much need a Lone Droid player. You can't just grab any old weirdo off the street and say it's it's lone droid time babes because it's, it's just that's just not how it works around here again no unless you're gonna do like, wow it's almost like we know about dota and there we see your lone droid pick 
I'm going to take a moment to eat a little chocolate heart that I've got as a oh. congratulation to myself. Oh, it is left over from Valentine's Day. Oh. Wait, was it left over in the shops, or did did you uh, did you receive that? Um, <laughs> I received it oh. from my mum. And you know what? I was <laughs> totally going to say, did you receive that from <laughs> Mama Keen? But, yeah, I did. Uh, you know. oh. Shout out to Mama Keen. I can only assume that she is currently watching. <laughs> well, you know, we do have a, a massive 12 viewers, so uh, if our mums aren't watching, then we're pretty famous. Yep, true that. Mm -hmm. So we're still looking for that core for Greenwich, and of course another support. We assume, I doubt this is going to be a, a, a Zeus support. I very much doubt it. Lundgren's Zeus going to be offlane, isn't he? Yeah. I was talking about Greenwich, sorry. There is the uh, the core for Greenwich, the yeah. Juggernauts. Strong pick. Are, we, are people playing their spirit in, in the support, in like a... A tri lane lineup at the moment. Yeah, Earth Spirit will probably be a support. Brigger Ganker. It's funny how you Is that, that absolutely like disgusting? Like, what is it? 1,600 initiation range. It's just. Mm -hmm. Just. It's a, obscene. You can tell it's stressing me out just thinking about it. Well, like, it's funny how you say, like, they need a lone druid player. We've got a lone druid. Earth Spirit is another one of those. You know, it's not like. Um, oh, I occasionally play Earth Spirit. You've got to have that nailed down for it to work. Yep. They're either gonna play, you know, they've got like a really good lineup so far. The last two pickups could really make a difference, but um, you know. Death Prophet, I think, is still definitely a pretty good pick for Birmingham. The silence is really nice against Juggernaut. It can lane fairly well against Zeus because even though you're gonna take a lot of harass, you can use the old Siphon Soul to get it back. And it would also complement this push strategy that they've got going really well. Lone Droid, Death Prophet, Jakiro. That sounds like an absolutely savage push. One like pick which has been oh. overlooked is the Vengeful Spirit, which I think would be. Pretty strong in both lineups right now, actually. Yep, I mean, Maybe not so much in Birmingham. I, I really think the Earth Spirit should be a support, but we will see. I do think um, Birmingham need a stun, though. At the moment, they're relying on what Roots and uh, Earth Spirit. And yep. Jakiru's got the old Ice Path, yeah. There's nothing particularly reliable, though. Yeah, well, yep. it's not a Venge stun, it's not a Lion Sheep. Yep, we'll see if Greenwich... I think the pick for Greenwich is probably Venge. Can be very nice doing saves on Earth Spirit. Uh, is that what you're calling for, for which team, sorry? For Greenwich, I think. Aura's nice. If they take um, another stun now, that's going to be a, a scary um, a scary offlane for either Lone Druid or Earth Spirit. Yep. They have... They did Greenwich ban Luna, so they... They're assuming that this is an offlane lone droid indeed. Mm. And, lone, and Luna definitely would have been a strong pick, because that would have given them yet another uh, strong pushing hero, which is pretty much getting quite scary at that point. Yeah. It's already quite a scary push. Throw a Luna in on top of it, and it's time to... Uh, to the spirit offlane is still pretty legit. I mean, it is going to be horrible trying to uh, dodge lion stuns, whoever else stuns, and juggernaut spins, but... Mm. Yeah, I think the thing is, like, as a support, he doesn't do a massively less than an offlaner. Right, okay. Like, he's so disgustingly strong that he doesn't even need farm. Like, sure, he'd like, love <laughs> a blink and an urn or whatever, but with that ridiculous, uh, the roll initiation range is just so disgusting that he doesn't even care about uh, getting farm anymore. Yeah, fair enough. So... Obviously the Aghanims is also nice on him. Like, it's not that there's not here items which aren't nice on him, it's just like he's already so strong without them. That I think why, uh, Aghanims Earth Spirit is one of those, it falls under the Oracle category. I know something gets turned to stone, heroes I think, but what that actually people does... People are getting kicked, people are yeah. stones, people are just <laughs> flying everywhere. I'm not entirely sure what becoming a stone means. <laughs> I think surely the, the casting death, tactic surely. is just... Speak really fast and hope that no one questions oh, it later on. And and stone and it's yeah. Stone and it's all blown up. Oh. oh no! Oh, did he? That mm. is basically the entirety of my casting technique right there. We banned the Neatea. That would have been a lot of stuns for a trial in actually. So, hmm. I think I think it's Venge time. Okay, or alternatively, it's Elder Titan time, which. Does go pretty nicely with the Zeus. The damage amplification combined with the nukes from Zeus and Lion is pretty scary. Um, not amazingly lane, strong in a defensive tri lane. No. So either he's going to solo off lane and Darks is going to jungle, or we're going to see Elder Titan doing a lot of pulls. Oh, well, I don't know. We will see. Jungle. Surely this is pub, pub game 101. 
Yeah, gonna, maybe they're popular. Can any of them go ancients? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Ooh, Maybe it's going to be dual lanes and Elder Titan and Dark Zero are going to go together. So, it probably means that it's maybe... Lane. No, I think it's definitely going to be a mid quap, And then maybe a Viper off lane? They can do dual lanes like Viper, Earthshaker. Uh, that's a legit strategy. Oh, early so, you know, what's, 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 what's the play? Who's going to... Which team do you... F oh, and there's a pause. Which team do you fancy introducing on this, Dyer, on this so fine we'll Sunday evening? Go with Dyer. So, the Gree. The Gree currently have on Elder Titan, Jimmy. On the Darks here, we have Mid or Feed. Mid or Feed? Did we not have someone in that from the Heritage called that? I think we did. But on Zeus Arena, we've got Salam. On um, Juggernauts we have Dave, and on Lion we have Liam. Very use, good, good use of your uh, Chinese skills there. Well, you know. Um, meanwhile, for the Radiant, which is Birmingham, we have got Queen of Pain played by Luke, Lone Droid played by question mark question mark, and apologies for th that slightly dodgy bit of text there. Uh, Mao on the Viper, three eight two nine five three seven nine two on the Jakiro, and mm. SFXC. SFXC. Mm. SFXC indeed on the uh, on the Earth Spirit. And apologies for the short pause. Hopefully it's not going to be too long. Someone's just uh, someone's cat has just nibbled their kettle wire. It got oh, electrocuted. No. And no, they haven't. If anyone from Pet is listening, that was a straight up lie. I think it was a lie. I mean, I don't actually know what happened. Yeah, I hope it's no possible that listening. they'll rock up and start euthanizing things. It's like, no, it's fine. It's like, no, <laughs> put down now. That earth, that bear looks a little bit sad. <laughs> Did he limp? Killed. Lop off his head. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, pretty much how they work, as far as I'm aware. Uh, just, oh, uh, just in case, Get you know. Back in your pen, donkey. Anyone does care. Where's donkey going? Not the views of Game Britannia. Donkey. A little look over here, no spirits. What if Medusa alt stoned heroes became remnant earth spirits could kick pull? Mm. Okay, turns out Ice Frog is Stolio, just revealed himself. Uh, what if that actually happened? That is just a very unusual, unique interaction, I think. Just like that happened. That's very and specific. You cast Magnetize, and everyone everywhere in all games of Dota become magnetized. Sounds a bit overpowered. The bear is going to take a bit of harass here. And we may... Are we going to see any rune face-offs? I believe the answer is no. Queen's just going to casually pick it up top. So it looks like it's actually going to be a solo safe lane lone droid for Birmingham. And then they're going to be running this aggro tri lane with uh, Jakiro, Viper and Earth Spirit. So that should be fairly interesting. Hopefully not a nice action-packed lane top. The game is on. And I'm, I'm generally just quite excited to see what this um, Elder Titan's going to be up to. Not a hero we see overly often. And it looks mm. like I did correctly call with dual lanes. Gosh, oh, yeah. I'm clever. Was that Dave playing? I can't remember your translations correctly. No, the oh, Titan I'm, was... I can't do them again. Was he Liam? I can't remember. Liam Gallagher playing... Uh, <laughs> Well, you know, he's, Elder Titan. he's not doing so much in the whole music scene at the moment, is he? No, so and I think it's safe to say that he does need a bit of work on his education, so maybe it's for the best that he's at uni. Exactly. Apologies to the residents of Manchester for that one. How legit is this um, Quelling Blade on the bear, by the way? Oh, 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 kicking off mid, there's heroes everywhere. Uh, what's not legit about it? Well, I don't know, Quell and Blade on the bear. I thought you had pretty much enough last hitting power with uh, I don't know, have you seen how much damage bear does? It's like nothing. Well, yeah, but percentage of nothing. Well, 40% of 35. Whatever, let's not get into the... <laughs> we, I thought so yeah, it is Dark's here is indeed off to the jungle. And it's going to be Elder Titan versus Lone Droid down here. Okay. So you correctly called some like crazy pub tier strats, and uh, Darkseer is off to the new camp. Meanwhile, Elder Titan, it's not it's not going to be a laney wins, but he's certainly going to get absolutely all the XP, and which is going to be perfect for him, because all he really needs to do is uh, get some levels in Astral Spirit in Natural Order, so he can buff up these big Zeus ultimates. Yes, yeah, it's, it's really weird lane line now. I mean, I don't fancy 
I'd be like complaining at my team now if I was facing a Jakiro and a Viper top. I know that much. Yeah, because that is not an overly fun lane for the Juggernaut. No. Constant uh, dot damage coming out there. Donkey looks lost. The Donkey was indeed lost and confused, but uh, he's mm. got everything back under control in his life. He's sorted out his problems. Let's see. Donkey versus... You see, I'm, I'm liking the, uh, the little dagger up there on... Um, for, for the Gree. And the Gree have got their own logo. I mean, I know it doesn't properly fit in the box and everything, but they've tried, and that's, that's you know, more than you... Morning. Zeus was forced back to base by Queen of Pain, so he is now massively behind on levels. We've got a level 4 Queen of Pain, and Zeus has only just about hit level 3. That is pretty pretty rough for him. That's also a nicely positioned ward for uh, the die there, which is hopefully going to protect Zeus from these Earth Spirit ganks, but as mentioned, that initiation range is so disgusting that are you ever really safe? And there is indeed the Earth Spirit gank. A lot of damage coming out onto Zeus. He's trying to drop a few nukes to potentially get something back, but with the fairy fire, oh. Luke is going to have enough health. Potentially going to get a return kill onto SXFC. Oh, with the uh, magic wand, keeps himself alive. And there, Zeus, who we just described as uh, being a bit behind, finds himself falling even further behind, and he's now going to be on level 3, while Queen is all the way up on level 5. And that is a scary, scary world to live in, because as soon as Queen hits level 6, she's pretty much got herself another free kill. Exactly. We nearly saw a kill on Juggernaut top, but uh, he managed to get away, he's, um, he's used the salve and he's straight back in there, but it's just going to happen again and again, you know. <laughs> this Viper combo is horrible. Viper Jakiro, really disgusting. They've also got that uh, vision behind the Dyer's tier 1 top, so yep, they're they feeling pretty confident up here, they know exactly what's going on. They, yeah, they, they've made that lane with a bully strategy in mind, haven't they? They don't want them getting anything. Yep. Yeah. Obviously Juggernaut has picked up the poor man's shield to try and deal with this harass and it is going to help a little bit but until he picks up a couple of big re probably the ring of health he's going to be looking for, he's, he's going to be in trouble. See, it's good but it doesn't stop any of the, the ticks does it? You're still it's taking, good um, but it's not quite right, is that what it is? <laughs> it's good but it's not quite, what is it? What is that little saying? What is that from? Um, from some uh, game no, show. Why are we right, always talking about like seventies game shows? Uh, no, it's not seventies. It's still on. It's from. Is uh, it? Um, yeah, it's from. Uh, it's good, but it's. I'm not sure if it's. Come on, Gan. It is not quite right. You're the old, the right old weirdo here. It's from catchphrase. Catchphrase. And, um, ah. I'm not sure if the new host says that though. And what is what is is that exactly what it is? It's good, but it's not it's quite good, right. but it's not quite right. And then you okay. play it again, and uh, you have to watch it again, and it. Do -do 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 -do. I see. And the little um, Mr. Chips, I think he was called. Mr. Chips. Dude. Yeah. Indeed. Okay. It's all coming back now. Um, so, in the mid lane, Zeus is getting absolutely crushed. He's pretty much one of the easiest mid heroes to play because you can just stand back and use arc lighting, arc lightning. Arc but he lighting. only has. <laughs> he's just turning the lights on and off. But um, <laughs> he <laughs> is. Only got nine last hits. Look, and then we look on the other side, and Queen of Pain has got twenty-four. Yeah, I've just turned on the charts, and uh, with the top three going the way of, see, I'm confused now because I'm sure you told me we were we had Surrey before, but uh, it's Birmingham. No, right? no, that was a game earlier. Oh, okay. It's Birmingham versus Greenwich. A nice route onto Earth, onto uh, Elder Titan yeah. bottom. He is going to take a fair bit of damage. But, uh, he's pretty tanky, though. That's a good thing about him. You know, he's already got four armor. He can take a bit of a beating. Yep, I guess the only good thing we can say is, uh, in theory, Greenwich should be getting more XP out of the map, because they do have a jungler, but I really don't understand why Darkseer is so determined to constantly do this hard camp rather than go into his own jungle, Stack and taking bit. the medium yeah. and easy camps, because I'm sure that would get him more XP here. He sh jungle Darkseer shouldn't be level 4 at 6 minutes. No, I mean, if we have a quick look at uh, net worth rather than last hits, he's actually fourth, so I mean... Yeah, that's bad. Like, yeah. He's not doing a very good Doxy strategy, and he's the head on top of his team. Queen of Pain is miles ahead, and she is going to be really scary to deal with. A Queen with Orchid is really scary for Juggernaut early on in the game. And we've got an invisibility rune on Earth Spirit. What's he going to play? Is he going to do his roly-poly right into him? I suspect he might oh. be. We'll see if they can get another Zeus kill out of this. Queen of Pain has got level 6, so this is scary times for Zeus. And 10 charges on Queen of Pain as well, which can definitely be a, uh, a big factor. Yeah. No, um, no bottle either for Zeus. He's got a single tango. 
It's the saddest looking Zeus. They're probably going to think about diving with this wave, so we'll see what happens here. There is a nice stun from Elder to uh, from oh, us, but roll. he He's does up. miss the roll. There's the Queen of Pain ultimate, does hit. Queen is going to need to use these He's one got charges, the I think. On him. Nope. Oh, he's going to die from the dot, though. Does get denied by uh, by Elder Titan. Nice bit of play there. Mm. They knew he was dead, so definitely the correct play. Queen of Pain being chased around by Doxia on the back lines. In the meantime, there's a major fight going on. Elder Titan gets a stun off onto two. They look to convert this into a uh, a kill onto Earth Spirit, which they do get with the line stun. Well, that so wasn't the gank they wanted. A deny and... Um, a I know, the deny tanker. means that that was absolutely worth it for, um, for Greenwich. Yep. And that's, yeah... A nice well, golden shot, XP boost for them. Hasn't changed anything on the net worth front, <laughs> you know. Queen of Pain did survive. She got quite low with Darkseer chasing her around, but um, not enough to drop her down. And oh, look at this. I'd love to answer your question in chat, but regrettably my Chinese needs a little bit of work. What should we assume that says? Um, I th basically thought he would, they were just cheering us on, saying that we were literally the best um, cast since Shanghai. Oh, that they've thank heard. you very much. Since Shanghai, but mm -hmm. those are some poor... Actually, no, the casting is good, it's just the production, minor issues. Yeah. Thanks very much for the encouraging words, Lin yeah, Jin yeah, Fan 184 Yes, thank you. Sadly, uh, Eric and Gan t-shirts aren't available just yet, but yeah. uh, stay tuned. They will be. It's only a matter of time. Exactly. I'll just point out... Um, we finally see some boots from the Juggernaut. Woo. <laughs> yeah, he's not. He has. He has at least. I, at least he knows he's struggling a bit, and he has picked up a bracer. Yeah. He's going to be going into a drum, I assume, and uh, trying to make a comeback through some of those kind of early game items. Hopefully, looking for some kills to accelerate his farm. Yeah. In the meantime, Lone Droid has picked up the Midas, so his his farm is going to be accelerating very quickly. Gonna Hoping he's not going to. <laughs> don't think anyone in their right mind really goes double Midas, but I love double Midas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No one in their right mind. Uh, I expect that we will see the radiance coming out from him. Yeah, I mean that is obviously just disgusting, especially at the moment with uh, the buffs it's received. But yeah. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of right click though on the other team, is there? Uh, Juggernaut obviously, but other other than that, no. There's a bit of slaps coming from the uh, the pointy-headed one, but um, yeah, mm. radiance can be nice against uh, Lion as well. Obviously, cancelling off that blink, and it's just generally there's so much utility you can get out of it. Speeding up your farming, split pushing, the missed chances. Just I'm going to say it right now: that Lion is not getting blinked this game. <laughs> <laughs> there is no oh. way. A nice, uh, oh. nice deny top by Lion there. Times it very nicely against uh, the Jakiro push, and that is definitely a big factor because I mean, when you when you pick these big pushing heroes, you, you really want to convert that into gold. Well, yeah. Elder Titan has just TP top. We'll see what they're planning to do with this. Are we about to see some nice gank? He's got his ultimate ready. He's got two levels up in natural order combined with a maxed out astral spirit. We'll see if that is going to convert into a kill on Mao on the Viper who does seem a little scared, and he does now walk into four. I think that they're not going to need to burn too much for this. And he is dead. That was easy work. Zeus, interestingly, decides that he would like that kill, which means that all five players from Madaya were involved in it. I think, you know, obviously it's nice to accelerate your farm, but there's a point where, like, a kill is so secured that do you even need to waste, waste it on it? Yeah, there's um, a bit of a push going on bottom. They're, like, once again, making these... Uh, these tile pushes happen. Yep, this is going to be tricky to defend. Juggernaut does not have enough mana for his ultimate. Definitely not now that he's used spin, so he could actually be going down here. Well, he does indeed. A, a lovely Queen of Pain ultimate onto three. She jumps straight in, follows up with the Queen of Pain, uh, with a Scream of Pain, and Juggernaut is down. The Radiant looking to see if they can get more, but um, they don't want to be diving under tier twos at a ten minute mark, especially when they already have two heroes on half health. Yeah, I've had a quick look at the uh, Golden XP graph with Gand and Eric, and uh, it's basically Radiant all the way, with, you know, occasionally... And it would appear that um, people are telling... I can only assume that this Chinese says, stop calling them Birmingham, we're Birmingham City. So, apologies, it is Birmingham City University versus Greenwich. Is that different from Birmingham? Are they it is indeed, place? yes. They're rival universities. Very much Gryffindor and Slytherin of Birmingham. Well, Why am I loving these Harry Potter references so much at the moment? I don't know. Um, I think I'm secretly hoping that someone's going to send us some tickets for the theatre. Oh, so I don't have to pay that dream. disgusting price. And we do have a team fight going down here mid. A nice stone kick, uh, stone push from the Earth Spirit. 
A Jakiro ultimate is going to miss everyone. The Elder Titan Earth Splitter does hit four though, followed up by a Juggernaut ult, which does do a lot of damage with the uh, the aura, the natural order aura. And Juggernaut gets the kill onto Jakiro. They're looking at the Viper, who's very low. Zeus ultimate picks her up. Queen of Pain is going to be forced to retreat. The oh, she's um, going to get a kill here, maybe. She's got a. Uh, did she use that rune? Queen of Pain does get does get the kill onto Elder Titan, now forced to blink away. In the meantime, mid, we in. did see a fight still going on. The Dark Sid will was dropped defensively to scare away the Earth Spirit and the Lone Droid. I think there was a bit of a misplay by Earth Spirit in amongst all the madness there, as I think he may have pulled his bear instead of a uh, instead of a stone, which may have missed them a kill. No, oh, no. good Sid. <laughs> it is very sad indeed, and. Uh, Oh. One thing to be I, I really want to be able to answer these questions in chat, but I'm just, you know. 25, GG. Roxy Howe. <laughs> all, all we can say is their names. Oh dear. I feel like I'm Juggernaut being bullied. Has, uh, this is, must be what online bullying feels like. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Juggernaut has picked up the face boots, so sticking with those uh, kind of early game items, which he absolutely needs because he. Needs to, he's got 18 last hits at 13 minutes as the position one hero. That is a terrible situation to be in. Birmingham are now pushing mid with the lone droid. Jakiro is on his way, and that's a free kill for lone droid. And he is now up to 2,500 gold, so well on to his way to a radiance. And it, we can pretty much say Ooh. for sure that it is going to be the radiance. That could have been cheeky. Are they thinking about Russian, really? Rush? Well, they're under a ward at the moment. They have a fairly strong Roche lined up with the uh, Jakiro Liquid Fire. Uh, sorry, the yeah, the Jakiro Liquid Fire. Oh, Earth Spirit's gone for a bit of a cheeky roll there, getting in position for to initiate out of the trees. And as I was saying, they do have a fairly strong Roche lineup. The only problem is, really, Dark Seer is just so scary to Roche against because they yeah. get such a nice wall off. Plus, Zeus means that you know, it's guaranteed damage, and they know exactly where everyone is. It's not like you can play anything yeah. sneaky off the back of it. I'm surprised that this um, Lone Druid is, is wanting to push right now though, I mean, he's got his, his glove, but that's about it. Set of boots, extra. What time did yeah, he get that Midas? He really doesn't seem to have gained a lot since then. Who, sorry? Lone Druid? Lone Druid, yeah. Really? He's got 2,700 2, gold, right? Yeah, but why, well, yeah, exactly. He's not got any items. He's just risking it for a biscuit. Well, I think that's what you have to do, right? No, no, just live in the woods for 40 minutes. Come out, 12 slotted, right? It's fine, he's, he's still hard to kill, he's got his team to back him up. Viper has got the mech. I think Good. they can just keep pushing, pushing, pushing. Yeah, I think they've got this, um, this tower. I'm not the game. I'm not I'm not writing the degree off just yet. No possibility of a deny with that lone droid uh, bear doing so much damage. They know exactly where they are currently. Battle cry is just so strong. Those wards right on top of each other. Earth yeah. Spirit is still deep behind enemy lines, hiding in the trees, looking for any potential cheeky initiation. And I think that the Radiant should be a little bit careful about taking this. A nice ice path does break the team fight into two. Juggernaut's already burnt spin, so we'll see if the Radiant are going to be able to chase him down here. And I think really they should just be waiting for this Queen of Pain Orchid, which is on the Courier, because that is really a game changer against Juggernaut. Yeah, and Zeus, you know. Oh, they'll split him in half. I mean, he's not exactly the biggest threat at the moment, but... Oh, he's actually creeping his way back up. He's now he's now in the fourth position for net worth. Okay, and it is indeed Birmingham University. The people <laughs> in chat are from Birmingham City University. Ah, what spice. a confusing, confusing world. I think they should all have a fight at some point. Uh, I think they did actually play against each other in the last series of the Heritage. If I remember correctly, it was Birmingham City who came out on top. Oh, okay. So Let's hope I'm right, otherwise I'm going to sound like a right fool. Which so, and who isn't the case. It? Yeah. Not pretty the fool. Indeed. Come on, Eric, give me an impression. I don't know, it has to be like in the moment, you know? Okay. Well, and, um... Yeah. <laughs> Salam on the Zeus is at least now the most farmed hero on his team, but certainly not the most farmed hero in the game. No. Still uh, in fourth there. He's going for the Yules build. Uh, the uh, the Lone Druid is truly going to be out of control soon. He's now actually picked up his Sacred Relic, so he's nice, nice and safe. 
And yep, it will only be a short time before he finishes off the Radiance. At which time, I mean, already we're seeing that Greenwich are really struggling to deal with the push. Once it's got a Radiance on top of it, what on earth are they going to do then? Since the last time I mentioned Juggernaut's items at 8 minutes, he's picked up 2 Blades of Attack. Yep, he has, he has got the recipe. recipe. There's the drum. Yeah. Okay, I think he's going to be looking at Sanjan Yasha next, and it's scary because he is pretty much the entirety of Greenwich's late game. <laughs> the, the only other real late game potential they've got is that Dark Seer wall. Uh, it's 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 weird. It's a, it's a weird world because they they have weaker push and they have weaker late game. It's just it's, it's scary. Not, not the fun, is it? I mean, I, their team fight should, Ooh. in theory, be better, but we haven't seen them execute it yet. <laughs> They've just been round around the map, everyone. Yeah, Zeus pops the ultimate, so they do now know where uh, Birmingham are. They know that they're smoked, but they were incorrect with their prediction of Roshan. Yep, just a little run around the map, and everyone's invisible. <laughs> them ones, but um, yeah, I mean, the all all that really was was a burnt ult for Zeus, really. Oh, yep. look at this cheekiness right here. Now that they know the Zeus ultimate is down, they're starting to think, maybe we should do Roche, maybe not. I think they should really just they should just keep pushing. I mean, Greenwich, I don't think their position has changed. They're still going to really struggle to mm -hmm. to deal with these towers. I guess they're probably just waiting to finish off the Radiance, and then they're going to go finish the Tier 2s. Yep. Once again, you know, they're checking Zeus. They are scared of that Zeus. Uh, sorry, checking Roche. They are scared of the Roche kill, but... They just don't need it. They don't need to put themselves in that uh, dangerous position until they've won a team fight. They can just carry on, can't they? Yep. A nice little D ward that just happened by Lion, who uh, reclaimed a little bit of control of their own jungle. Their ward on Roshan has just timed out, so it's only the Radiant you've got a vision down there now. We've got two. Queen of Pain is going to want to start moving bottom if they are serious about uh, taking this tower. She, one of the most important hero heroes in the fight by far, with that uh, the big ultimate damage combined with the control from the Orchid. She's had that a while and she's not done anything with it yet though. Gonna get a nice DD now though, just in time for this team fight. And Juggernaut maybe being a little bit aggressive here, versus Viper you can't just rely on the spin to stay alive. And hello to Slithin, this is indeed a UK tourney, this is a... This is a uh, Game Britannia presents the Heritage number 2, a uh tournament between UK universities. We are currently looking at Birmingham versus Greenwich in the first round, the round of 16, and we can see Earthspirit doing some shenanigans on the right over here to once again get into a good position behind the enemy team. We're going to see if Greenwich can uh, can stop this push, which is going to be tough actually dealing with the liquid fire combined with the bear. The bear is just so scary, look how much damage they're doing, tearing through the tower. Elder Titan with a bit with a with a nice sleep. He could potentially sorry, not a sleep, a stomp. I think everyone calls that sleep, right? Um, I don't even Maybe they don't. With a nice sleep. stomp, they could <laughs> potentially set up some big combos. If they get a sleep onto three or four, combine it with a vacuum, they might get the, a good enough wall off to defend some of these towers. And yeah. um and the problem at the moment is, you know, the the grey are very, very scared. The city is like a little pile of four at the back. Whereas a really nice boulder smash comes out from uh, Earth Spirit, and he forces three heroes from Greenwich back. In the meantime, Jakiro was actually gone down to the Juggernaut ultimate, but so much damage coming out right now onto onto both teams. Actually, the Zeus ultimate finishes picks off the Queen of Pain. The Earth Spirit ultimate did a lot of damage to Badaya, but they've all stayed up under the effects of this Juggernaut ultimate. The uh, the bear with the radiance doing a lot of damage now. The actual lone droid hero himself is quite low, which is making this fairly risky. He's just trying to burn them down with the Radiance effect right now. His hero itself is still in a worrying position. The bear is going to go well in deep into the base. The lion could potentially be going down here. Is it enough damage? No, no it's going to end up not being. He has to recall the bear, and I'd say that's a fairly successful team fight for Greenwich. I believe they picked up the Jakiro and the Queen of Pain, lost two themselves. Mm, and they do lose the tower, so it's pro there's promising signs though, that's for sure. That they did burn absolutely everything, but it was an equalish team fight, which is probably more than we've seen from them so far. Yep, Viper got away literally with like one hit left from an illusion um, from the wall. He walked through the wall accidentally, and then this horrendous Viper illusion came out. And they keep all the passive and stuff, don't they? So yeah, Viper illusions are very scary. One of the worst, actually, I guess. Maybe Spectre. Mm -hmm. it's probably Maybe PL. PL, also very annoying, yeah. Especially if he gets lucky. 
And uh, the Radiant have now gone into Roshan, they know that all the Dire Ultimates are down, and the Dire are really dependent on those Ultimates, especially the uh, Juggernaut and the Dark Sir. They just don't care though. Meanwhile, well, either they just really have no clue that they're leaving them. Uh, I think they just know that they can't possibly contest. With their Ultimates down, there's no way they can win a fight. Using absolutely everything, they just about got a vaguely equal fight. Yeah, let's have a little look at the, uh, the old gold graph. Again, I mean, it's not really improved much on the, um, I suppose it has, it's probably gone up about 2k on gold, about 2k on experience, but it's not looking good for the grey, is it? The grey. The old the grey. Indeed. Earth Spirit just continually rolling around. He has picked up a Shadow Amulet, so we can assume, I kind of hope that's going to be a Glimmer Cake, but not a Shadow Blade. Surely, surely not. A very strange smoke from um, Elder Titan there. I can only assume that was a misclick. Um, it's the only one smoked. Yep, <laughs> unless something really meta is about to go down oh, back here. He has, yeah, smoke. he's brought another one out now. So he did just burn a smoke and a hundred gold. We'll see if it, if they can make anything happen with this smoke number two. Meanwhile, you'll be shocked to hear that the Radiant are going to go for another push in the top lane. Going to finish off that last T2. They do now have the uh, the Aegis on Viper. Viper, who's already difficult to kill, is yeah. going to go for a pipe on top of his mech. Yep, it's worth noting that that ward they put down is is spotted by the uh, the Dyer's wards. Yep. But they know not to go from that direction. I guess the thing is, it doesn't matter if you can have vision on them because uh, they're showing you where they are anyway. They're like, yep, we're going to come push your tower down. Stop us if you want. Slash can. Uh, looks like they, they are really going to think about going base here. Uh, obviously, you know, it's only 25 minutes into the game, but with they have such a strong pushing lineup that it's not a ridiculous thought. And with the Aegis as well, maybe it's uh, fairly reasonable. Viper, not too scared, has... Uh, I thought that was a pipe. No, it's just using the new active on Hood of Defiance. We'll see what they can make happen with the next wave. I'm curious, I think maybe Earth Spirit should have thought about going the, the blink instead of this... Uh, whatever this shadow amulet is going to turn into. I really like being able to just blink into the back lines of the enemy, pop your ultimate, then roll out, rather than... Because when you roll in, you, you quite often commit yourself to dying. It is a suicide, isn't it? You get yeah. your damage off. The bear takes a lot of damage under the uh, natural, order, natural order aura. Does just about survive. He does have a resummon, but... A nice a nice Echo Stomp onto Jakiro, who does go down. The Juggernaut Ultimate follow-up finishes off uh, Jakiro as well. And oh, we've seen Viper go down with the Aegis. And it looks like he's going to lose his second life as well. The uh, Lone Droid and the Queen of Pain have actually just walked away and said, something's not gone quite right here. Yeah, so they have that tower, I think they should have backed off and maybe got themselves a bit more far. Because, well, yeah, I think as soon the as the Lone Droid Bear got low, they should have known that this is... This isn't going to work, we need to back off, wait for Lundroid Bear to heal up. Yeah. Because that was just silly, really. They lose... A few, they, they were up about 12,000 on net worth, and they've just lost perhaps two or 3,000 of that lead there. Yep, yeah, interesting though, we've got a uh, Arcane Rune on co-op. She's now got her Black King Bar, that will be shipped out to her shortly. That is a scary, ganking lineup. <laughs> you know. Yep, that's very scary, her blinking into the back lines. Zeus essentially just throwing tic tacs at her at this point, the amount of damage he's going to do. Yep, mmm, tic tacs. Delicious. <laughs> Lion is actually very close to this blink dagger now, which is going to be a very important pickup. Very, very nice against the Queen of Pain. Why does he have and to there do it this is. To me? Why does he have to do this to me? Well, to be fair, 25 minutes is pretty slow, but he's got there in the end. Yep, fair one to him. The, we'll uh, see if he can get full use out of this. Is there going to be some nice queen kills? Obviously, now that queen has the BKB, his job has suddenly got a lot harder. He needs to try and either catch her before the fight even begins, or before she can pop the BKB. Otherwise, there's going to be 10 seconds of marauding queen of pain. And despite the fact they got the top tower down to half health, they were like, no, top didn't go well. Let's do the same thing bottom. Earth Spirit already far behind the enemy lines now, he gets a, a push on to 4, takes a lot of damage, the Shadow Amulet isn't going to be enough to save him there, sorry the Glimmer Cape isn't going to be enough to save him, or is it, as he does manage to get away, there's a nice Queen Ultimate, Darks has gone down already, he did manage to get the wall off and does buy back the Juggernaut Ultimate onto the uh, Viper, but Viper is very tanky and does manage to survive through that. The resummon has been used on the bear here, so... 
think that the Radiant are probably going to think about backing. They don't want to lose that second bear. They have forced the buyback onto Darkser. Not sure he really needed to buy back. He already had a really nicely positioned wall down that was uh, forcing out the enemy regardless. So, yep, hmm. quite a Slight misplay from Crop there. She used the uh, Arcane Rune after her Sonic Wave. I mean, does she not want the 30% uh, duration on it? Yep, I guess maybe she got a bit overexcited, saw that she was about to kill Darkseer and was like, YOLO, but um, you're quite right, ideally the arcane room would have been popped. And there is a pause, I wish I could tell you why we're paused, but regrettably, uh, Gand is the Chinese translator, bear with him while he just admins this game. Let me have a little look-see. Ah, right, okay, the cat is uh, making a full recovery, but unfortunately it's very angry now. Um, the cat is currently attacking Luke. Um, he may need to go and get a tetanus shot. A tetanus shot? Yeah. Is that just a thing which cats just carry by default? We just assume they have tetanus? It's, I think it's because they, uh, they go out a lot. Um, They're partiers. Yeah. Party because animals, like they dig in literally. The they dig in the ground? Do cats dig a lot? Well, that's what they do with the poop. Oh, so okay. Well, dig a that's little bit. a new low for today's broadcast. <laughs> poo stories. Put yep. you by Gant. Yeah, let's move on from that. Um, so what 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 are the raiding gonna do? They've just forced the they've just forced the buyback from Dark Sir, so I guess they're probably just gonna wait for a bear and go push again. Wait for the bear resummon, so that's eighty five seconds. Then push again. Around the same time they will get the Queen ult. The um oh, what that is. That's a fountain. The Jakiro is extremely poor. Is a quite worrying. I think he's building Vlad's. Obviously, Jakiro doesn't massively need farm. Ideally, he'd like a bit, but um, there we go. Oh no, uh, Lone Droid actually already has the Vlad's, so I'm not entirely sure what um, this uh, this Jakiro is building from that Ring of Basilius. I guess maybe it's just a casual Ring of Basilius, and the regen is going to turn into maybe a four staff. I guess that would be legit actually. Let's uh, let's assume that's correct. Yeah, I was too busy looking at all the different player models, but, you know, I agree with everything you said. <laughs> Obviously, because I'm damn clever. We do see an Orchid now onto Doxa. He did just about get the runoff, which might save him. Are we going to see a Brute coming out from the Lone Droid? A nice Echo Stomp is hopefully going to buy Doxa time to get away. No, he does go down, and the Radiant are going to be fully aware that he has already used buyback, so this is 50 seconds where they can do whatever they wish, and it looks that like... Seems like run away. I think it may actually oh, no be one. push mid. They were just running back to that creep wave so that they aren't pushing in blind. Yeah, this uh, is a scary position for the Greek. Yeah, definitely. Birmingham, we know they've got that strong pushing lineup. Darkseer is down. No chance of a buyback. The Juggernaut What's Ultimate down? isn't up for 30 seconds. Not sure how much attention they will have been paying to that. I guess the good thing is by the time this creep wave arrive, arrives, Darkseer is pretty much going to be up. Yeah, the, uh, they didn't take that as quite as well as I thought. The stomp sort of slowed them down, they just nuked it down with Zeus. Yeah, the natural order aura plus Zeus is just so scary. They do pop the pipe though and go in here. The tower's going to go down really, really fast. There's no reinforce for the Dire. They're just going to go straight onto the melee racks here, I hope. Darkseer has to arrive, does have the blink, so we're going to see the potential for a nice blink vacuum wall is going to be what he's looking for. Earthspirit's gone in deep, he's rolled in and popped an ultimate. A very nice wall catches four with the Juggernaut ultimate on top of it. Queen of Pain under the BKB influence does manage to do a lot of damage ignoring all this AoE. Gets the kill onto a Juggernaut, gets the kill onto the Zeus. Zeus does buy back and it looks like the Radiant with two dead are going to try and finish off this Rax and retreat. They are going to go for the Ranger Rax as well which could be argued as slightly greedy. Uh, well, looks so like it's fine. There is a stomp though. The, the bear it? could well be dying here. That's one times dead bear. We do have a resummon. Oh, Lion completely misses his stun and that could end up costing them the kill. A nice vacuum onto three, a stomp onto the bear and Viper instantly wakes up. That bear is angry. That is a very angry bear. And the Radiant are going to end up escaping. I think they may have, if anything, hung around a little longer than they wanted to. Uh, it's be a but they do get away with it. Next, isn't it? Pretty sad right now. We yeah, would probably know. generally expect that. I don't. So the two items is bought at least. So yeah, yeah def definitely based on those. Trouble brewing, that 
Let's see. Oh, they're just going the to Basher, up, Basher Maelstrom build. I do. Why is. Oh, that's not good for the bear. That's how long now? Without no bear for 80 seconds now. <laughs> that is a long time. I mean, <laughs> that's like his hero dead for buyback time. Pretty much. I mean, they have just taken Arax, they've killed the tower top, so they probably won't mind waiting 80 seconds too much, but still, dead bears are no fun for anyone. It's Midas as well, isn't it? Yeah. yeah Especially not our, our PETA representatives, <laughs> which we can only assume are still watching. The only good bear is no bear, because then there's no suffering at all ever. That's true, actually. They're happy currently. 42 seconds, not so much. It says spirit though, doesn't it? Yeah, spirit. But it's not a real bear. Are we like cool with punishing spirits? Better. And Lone Droid is soloing Roche with just his hero of lads and a hyperstone. What an absolute boss. <laughs> He's got the shield, don't forget that. And some. Ah, yes, the stout shield. Success. S sort of moderately successful. His team have now arrived to help him out. Zeus does have ultimate, so there is the potential to scout this out. And with Darkseer ultimate off cooldown as well, they could pose they a very have. solid defense if they were aware of what's going on. But it is too late at this point, and it's going to be an Aegis for someone. Oh, new smoke. Darkseer missed out on that, though. Viper does get the Aegis. I'm surprised they keep giving it to Viper. I really think Queen of Pain is just such a strong Aegis character because it means you can do some really aggressive blinks. Yeah, the but, smoke um, is um, you know, next level smoke going on. Currently just patrolling the front of the base there. Ah, uh, yep. That is indeed a little unusual. And I guess the Radiant have just picked up an Aegis. They're probably just going to rotate top and push. The only big item coming out for them soon is that Scardy on Queen of Pain which she's only about 100 gold away from, so I guess that's what they're waiting for. She's probably going to go pick up that gold bottom, and then they can go push top. They've got the uh, they've got the Assault Curious, they've got the whole the whole package. Right, well, I mean, I can't really see them failing on this push without any horrendous mistakes. I think this. I think the, uh, the thing that Greenwich are really looking for is some huge Echo Stomp onto 3 or 4, which they can then follow up with a Vacuum Wall, all the Zeus spells, and just general terror. Do you know if the illusions break um, the stomp? I know that creeps don't, but... Mm, I would assume that the illusions do. So if your vacuum wall stomped, that bring them out? Um, vacuum wall... So that you get your illusions stomp. on them, then you stomp them. Oh no, I think you definitely stomp, then you vacuum wall. Okay. Because that way you can wait for a nice stomp before you go in and commit the vacuum wall. It's only got the two second, the, sorry, the three second stomp time though. Yeah, it's that's more than enough time to blink in and oh yeah, if you do your ball. shenanigans. What is he? So here is the time for the Radiance push. The Scardi's finished on Queen of Pain. The Assault Keras is finished on question mark, question mark, and they're going to go in for the push. Their heroes are very nicely spread out. They're very much aware that a stomp is the game changer at this point. Juggernaut just pops his ultimate off onto Earth Spirit. Earth Spirit goes down very quickly. He does buy back. No travels though, so it's going to take a while. There is a nice wall onto four. Juggernaut getting spin damage onto almost everyone. And it's Jug it's uh, Jakiro who's gone down. Queen of Pain under the influence of BKB. Kills Elder Titan easily and with her ultimate does damage onto everyone. Juggernaut, the final hero alive for the Dire, goes down... And it's, it turns out to be a pretty easy fight. The, yeah, the Earth Spirit good. buyback was completely unnecessary. Uh, he buys back and then finds himself running back uh, into the fray. And this is pretty much GG at this point. Convincing fight from Birmingham, really. Queen of Pain doing so much damage under BKB. And they just basically... C Greenwich committed so much onto killing that Earth Spirit. They popped both the Lion Stuns and the uh, Juggernaut Ultimate. And... Is it, is an, I know an Earth Spirit is good, but it is just a support Earth Spirit. Is it worth going at all so crazy? I I don't know. I do not know. <laughs> so, well, that's the end of game one. Thanks for watching, folks. Um, we will be back shortly. This is a best of three single elimination. So, Birmingham are now 1-0 up over Greenwich. We'll see if they're going to be able to take this series 2-0, or if it's going to go to a few more games. You have been watching Game Britannia's The Heritage, if you've enjoyed the stream, which you almost definitely have, because it's mind-blowingly incredible. I mean, I listened to one back the other day, Gand, and we're great, let me tell you. We're absolutely fantastic. But on it. Um, 
So you've just yeah, you've just experienced that. Why not follow to experience it in the future? Um, and yeah, we'll be back very shortly. Make sure to follow. And yep, don't go anywhere because it only gets more exciting from this point onwards. Yeah. Geez. <laughs>